For this video tutorial I want to show you how to restrict movement of an object to a set path using Active Inspire. So I have a page set up that has the planet Earth and the Moon already placed on it. Now this is not drawn to scale but I want to show that the Moon's orbit is almost circular so I'm just going to draw a shape here. In this case I will use a circle, but I could use an ellipse if it was an elliptical orbit. I'm going to choose a circle. I don't want any fill in that circle, so I'm going to click the box with an X in a minute, so there is no fill colour. Now I'm going to draw my circle, and I'll need to move that, but there's my circle. So I'll go back to my selector tool now, and I'll move my circle so that the Earth is right in the middle of it. Good. Now I'll bring my moon onto the circle, so that's, going to, that's the path that my moon is going to follow once I've got it set up. Now click on moon and I want to bring that forward in front of the path, so I'm going to use my menu attached to the objects and click on bring forward and I'll click on that until the moon is in front of the path. So I've had to click on it twice this time. So there's my moon. Alright, now I've got my moon selected, I'm going to go into browsers again, the property browser, and I'm going to find restrictors. Now with these restrictors I want to choose can move, but in this case I'm going to select a long path. Then the move path, I need to choose what I'm going to use for my moon, moon um, path that I want it to move along. And in this case, of course I want it to be my circle, so I select that in the select object dialog box, go OK, and now when I move the moon it will only move on that path. Now if I want that circle to be visible and show that I can leave it as it is, or I can change the colour of the path to be the same as my background, in this case white. So if I change that, select the circle and then click on white to change the colour. Now my moon still follows that path, but you can't see it. 